Hello everybody. So here I'm back with another video about XHP uh, 70 and here I will take it apart and I will try to explain how to disassemble this flashlight. So now I'm currently removing the uh, body and screw the, the the bottom and took out the battery so then the next part the middle and here we left with the slider the, the the head of the flashlight and the middle so and right there in the middle you can see if you keep the the head it comes off very easily so between basically the slider uh, comes off so and you partially um, can access the insides of the flashlight so but uh, this this is not all <laughs> and I tried everything I tried to uh, really hard to unscrew this one and try to hold it with the with the um, tools and nothing helped so uh, I was wondering what could be the reason so if you know how to disassemble this uh, flashlight, please do me a favor and leave a comment down below. So I could uh, maybe in next video I could try uh, <coughs> try the same as you did to disassemble this one. But in this video I I will come up with idea what could be the possible solution to uh, open the, the the head of the flashlight and get access to insides. <clears throat> to, to basically change or, or or change the LED itself or or see whether what's going on in, uh, in there I this is the flashlight which I'm currently using so I do not want to destroy this one so that's why I'm pretty careful with it uh, my kid is using this a lot so I will keep it safe for this uh, for, for some time but I order it the same type again from China the same type flashlight so when it will arrive I will dedicate one flashlight only for for the complete disassembly uh, and I will tear it apart as, as much as I can so I will be not uh, gentle I will just I will I will try not to destroy it but I will take it apart completely so but <clears throat> for this video I will not gonna do this I will just try to come up with idea so <clears throat> what I thought that uh, as you can see yeah I'm holding right, uh, right two parts in my, my my hands so there is one part which is the head and the, and the middle which holds the uh, circuit the, the this charger I see and everything which is inside um, so I also didn't take it out I just look at it uh, really carefully and I wanted to come up with idea what could be the possible solu solution to remove the LED from this flashlight and um, as there is no chance to unscrew the head f furthermore so <coughs> my idea was to basically I measured uh, the diameters of this flashlight and I ca came up with the idea that uh, maybe th in this area you can remove the um, the lens and push push it push this uh, through the lens out basically the idea is that you remove the lens I don't know how please do not ask me I don't know yet but maybe somehow you can remove the lens because I think the lens is just pressed inside and it's it's maybe it's a glue maybe it's glued inside or maybe it's like there are some kind of uh, <coughs> but this, this this head is rock solid there's no way to disassemble this one and so I think yeah this is the solution that you remove this lens over here I know use some white uh, spirit uh, alcohol or or some kind of other uh, uh, stuff to to just softener the, the glue and <coughs> try to remove it so and I measured the diameter the inner diameter of this is 25 
something about 25 millimeters but the outer di di diameter is 28 28 almost 29 so it's obvious that the lens is much um, wider much much bigger hall there is so in this proves my sort of theory about that the the, the the about that you should remove the lens first and then you can push it through uh, and it comes out uh, on the same side where the lens is so if you have this flashlight and 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 you you don't want to save it as i do and you need to sort of access the insights maybe you can try this one and if it works please let me know in the comments or that <laughs> that i don't sh don't need sh to try it there's different way but at the moment i cannot see different way i think this is the solution yeah when i will receive this uh, flashlight uh, from china i will try to do it i will try to remove the lens <clears throat> as gentle as i can and then i will see uh, whether whether this works or not So yeah, so now I disassemble uh, mm, the flashlight back and it works. That's great. Awesome. So it means I didn't destroy anything. Also, I was a little bit worried about the wires. So every time you unscrew or screw the flashlight, you a little bit there is like this twisting going on and you twist the wires and untwist the wires. So I think there's also limitation for that. So you can uh, screw and unscrew this flashlight for a couple of times and then the, the wires will come off that's my opinion so i enable a lux meter in my phone and i try to i don't know exactly where this lux sensor is but i will try to there is 30 the maximum 31,000. Uh, the, the numbers are jumping around but basically you can see there's something about 31,000 looks in the brightest mode 29 31 it's even bigger three thousand something yeah uh, one guy in a comment said that uh, this isn't an original flashlight so i do do not have access to original one but uh, when i will order the one from china i will also compare <coughs> but i i think maybe the flash flashlight the corpus the body for this uh, flashlight isn't original but maybe the diode the the, the, the led inside is uh, is original sorry so i know i, I leave the uh, flashlight uh, enabled for some time and i use the caterpillar phone to see uh, how hot it gets but uh, but it was enabled only for a few minutes like two or so not very really long <clears throat> but still i wanted to see and here can here you can see that uh, the hottest place it been somewhere somewhere um, beneath the head over there and there is something about 31 degrees but but uh, i guess i guess it's much more hotter actually yeah, it's hard to see the the temperature over there because it it, it is in the same color than the than the heat so but something about 31 35 degrees over there yeah now you can see that it's uh, turning actually really hot so i don't know probably it's not original i could tell but uh it's quite useful for me it's really bright and it's uh, actually the battery are also the battery holds up really good 
I charged it uh, for a few hours. I will measure how 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 much capacity there is, but this will be for the next video. Okay, see you next next time, and yeah, goodbye.